It began with a silence that didn't feel like an oversight. It felt intentional. NASA stayed unusually quiet about 3i Atlas for weeks. No briefings, no updates, no clarifications, just nothing. But today, that silence finally cracked. NASA has now confirmed what everyone suspected was coming. In just 40 hours, they will release brand new images of the interstellar object 3i Atlas in a global live stream on November 19th at 12.00 p.m. Pacific time. The timing is strange, not random, not casual, because this exact moment aligns with a rare planetary geometry historically associated with communication disruptions, unexpected revelations, and paradigm shifts, a moment where old narratives collapse and new ones are forced into existence. For the first time since the object slipped behind the sun, NASA is prepared to show us what they saw. High-resolution imagery, new spectral analyses, possibly MRO data, and whatever they collected during their inexplicable month-long blackout. The most interesting part, NASA has already disabled livestream chat. No public interaction, no questions, just a one-directional broadcast with a pre-selected set of images. And while NASA prepares to speak, something else is racing toward 3i Atlas, something that could change everything we think we know about this object. A coronal mass ejection, a direct hit. Earlier today, the same hyperactive sunspot cluster responsible for Earth's recent geomagnetic storms unleashed another solar explosion. A fresh CME erupted from the limb of the sun, not the largest we've seen, but powerful and perfectly aligned with the current position of 3i Atlas. Space weather models show the shockwave reaching the interstellar object around November 22nd at approximately 12.00 UTC. And unlike previous impacts that occurred when the object was hidden behind solar glare, this one will strike under near-ideal viewing conditions. We will be able to watch its effects almost in real time. This is not something we can ignore because when a CME slams into a comet-like object, the results can be extreme. We've seen this before during ESA's Rosetta mission. When a CME impacted the comet they were observing, its magnetic field spiked from 50 nanotesla to over 300 nanotesla. The plasma environment surged, dust became charged, the bow shock intensified, the tail snapped like a whip, and in some cases completely disconnected. This is not theory. It is not speculation. It is recorded in hard telemetry. So now imagine this happening not to a normal comet, but to an object from outside the solar system, already exhibiting anomalies in mass loss, acceleration, jet structure, and coma expansion. 3i Atlas is about to be tested by one of the most violent forces in the solar system, and we are finally in the perfect position to watch every second of it unfold. But before we talk about what a CME might do to 3i Atlas, we need to look at how much this object has changed in the past three weeks. Because the transformation is undeniable. When it first emerged from behind the sun, 3i Atlas appeared surprisingly dim and quiet. No obvious tail, no significant jets, only a diffuse coma that astronomers struggled to interpret. Some speculated the object had exhausted its volatiles. Others believed it was simply too faint or too aligned with the sun to detect its structure. But now, the story has changed drastically. 3i Atlas is alive. Its coma has brightened dramatically. Its jets are visible in stacked long exposures. Its tail, once invisible, now extends clearly behind it. Amateur astronomers across the world, using high-quality telescopes with long exposure stacking, are revealing a structure that looks dramatically more active than anything we saw in late October or early November. This raises a critical question. Was 3i Atlas always this active, or did something fundamentally change? One possibility is geometry. The angle between Earth, the Sun, and the object has shifted, revealing features that were previously hidden. But another possibility is that the object has become more volatile after its close solar approach. Heating, outgassing, electromagnetic activation. Whatever the cause, the result is the same. 3i Atlas now exhibits behaviors we can finally observe with clarity. And that makes the incoming CME even more significant. 
because if this object responds the way comets do, tail disconnections, plasma surges, structural changes, the CME could reveal internal properties we cannot measure any other way. But there is something deeper here, a mystery that keeps resurfacing, again and again, every time new data emerges. The jets, how they form, how they remain stable, how they maintain direction in a chaotic environment. Amateurs analyzing stacked images and brightness variations have calculated a rotation period of roughly 16 hours, a slow, tumbling rotation, unstable, irregular. If a normal comet rotated like this, the jets would diffuse into a broad cloud. The rotation would smear them across space. You would expect total chaos, not narrow, coherent beams. But 3i Atlas refuses to behave like that. Its jets remain structured, aligned, almost levied in place. Why? The answer may lie in plasma physics, a topic most astronomical live streams and commentators never touch, but one that becomes unavoidable when discussing active objects in the solar wind. Whenever gas escapes a comet-like object, it becomes ionized, stripped of electrons, and becomes plasma, thus becomes charged, Electric fields form, magnetic boundaries emerge. The solar wind begins to interact with the object not as a rock, but as a miniature electromagnetic system. This creates an ionopause, a magnetopause, a bow shock, dust charging environments, large scale electric field gradients, plasma channels and corridors, flow tubes where ions travel, and these channels can guide jets, even if the nucleus is tumbling. This is not science fiction. It is exactly what Rosetta saw. It is exactly what occurs in dusty plasma environments all across the solar system. So the mystery of the jets may have nothing to do with aliens or technology, at least not yet. Instead, it may be a complex interaction between a small nucleus, a massive coma, and a magnetized plasma environment. But there's a catch, and it's a big one. We still don't know the size of the nucleus. NASA's early Hubble estimate 2.8 km may be wrong. Some early amateur models claim 10 km. Others went even higher. No one actually knows. Everything mass loss, acceleration, brightness, jet power, energy budget depends on the nucleus size. And NASA's new imagery, especially from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, is the first chance we have to refine that estimate. This is why the live stream matters. This is why the world is waiting. Because if the nucleus is significantly larger than expected, many puzzles disappear. If it's smaller, many of the anomalies become even more severe. If there are fragments, the natural explanation strengthens. And if there are none, the opposite, another issue causing confusion right now, is the difference between long exposure stacked images and live, unstabilized video feeds. Most of the dramatic images circulating online the ones showing multiple jets, the antitail, the structured flow, are created from dozens or hundreds of long exposures stacked together to eliminate noise. When people point an unstacked camera at the object during a live stream, they see a pale dot. Because the object is faint, the sensors struggle, the tail is dim, and the background noise overwhelms the signal. This leads to arguments. Where is the tail? This is fake. That image is edited. That's not real. But the truth is simple. Live views can't reveal faint structures. Long exposures can. This is why NASA's images will be so important. They will not be live. They will not be noisy. They will be processed, calibrated, and stacked by some of the best imaging systems ever put into space. We may finally see the structure of the nucleus, the base of the jets, the inner coma, the early signs of fragmentation, or the absence of fragmentation. And that will determine the next chapter of this mystery. But the story doesn't end with observations, because something enormous is about to unfold, something the world has never witnessed with this clarity. A CME will strike an interstellar object while we watch. The plasma wave is traveling through space right now, a roaring cloud of magnetized particles expanding outward from the sun. It will intersect the exact position of 3i Atlas in just a few days. And when it does, several outcomes are possible. Tail disconnection, sudden brightening, jet reorientation, plasma boundary collapse, new jets forming, fragmentation, no change at all. We simply don't know. 
but whatever happens, it will reveal something profound about this object's inner structure and physical composition. And now, we return to the central mystery. What is 3i Atlas? NASA is already calling it a comet, but it does not behave like any comet we've ever recorded in our solar system. Nor does it resemble Aumuamua, nor Borisov. It sits somewhere in between, or somewhere entirely outside the categories we've created. A hybrid, a contradiction, a unique interstellar visitor, with properties that defy neat classification. This is why the next 72 hours matter so much. We are witnessing something no living generation has seen before. A detailed, high-resolution look at an interstellar object reacting to the sun in real time. A CME impact, a NASA reveal, a shift in public understanding, and possibly the first true measurement of the nucleus size. This is the moment the entire scientific community has been waiting for quietly, cautiously, nervously. Because once the images appear, the debate changes forever. Does the nucleus match the models? Does it fragment? Does the tail behave as expected? Does the coma brighten? Do the jets reorganize after the CME? And perhaps the darkest question of all, does the energy budget make sense? Because if the nucleus is too small to explain the observed mass loss, if the jets are too powerful, if the acceleration doesn't match sunlight pressure, then the natural explanation collapses and the conversation shifts to something else, something older, something stranger, something we may not be ready for. The story of 3i Atlas is not slowing down. It is accelerating, literally and metaphorically. NASA's live stream is approaching, the CME is approaching, and for the first time since its discovery, we are poised to see this object with unprecedented clarity. Astro Dynasty will be here for every update, every anomaly, every revelation. The next chapter begins now. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and prepare for Wednesday, because it may be the moment the story of 3i Atlas changes forever.